Hello everyone, today we're going to find the K values for the line following program and the gyro assisted driving program step by step. In this video, we'll be finding K values for Builder Dude's line following and gyro assisted driving programs. Proportional control systems such as line following and gyro assisted driving work by correcting the robot's movement based on how much error it is currently experiencing. It does this by controlling the direction of the robot based on the KP, or proportional K value, multiplied by the error value. Finding the right KP is crucial. A KP that is too small will make your system ineffective, and a KP that is too large will make your control system unstable and too sharp. One important thing to note is that KP values for line following will be different from KP values for gyro-assisted driving. Also, each robot's KP values are different, so ones that work for my robot may not work for yours. Let's start with the line follower first. First, we need to know if your KP is positive or negative. The easiest way to find out is to set your KP to something large, like 1 or negative 1, and see if the robot is making corrections in the right direction. Let's try negative 1. As you can see, the robot is making corrections in the wrong direction because it's getting farther from the line instead of closer. Now we know that the KP value is not negative, but positive. Basically, we'll increase the K value until the line follower becomes unstable. In an effective line follower, corrections should get smaller and smaller as time goes on. An unstable line follower means that corrections are getting bigger and bigger. So here, let's increase the K value until we see the robot's wiggling become wider and wider. Let's start with 0.1 and slowly increase it until we see the line follower become unstable. Alrighty, as you can see, when the K value was 0.5, the line follower became unstable. Now, to find the KP value, all you have to do is divide this current K value by 2, and voila, you've got your line follower KP value. In this case, for my robot, the KP is 0.5 divided by 2, which is 0.25. And so, let's plug in 0.25 and run our line follower. As you can see, the line follower works very well with the K value we calculated. Now for the gyro driving program. The KP value of the line follower will not be the same as the KP value of the gyro driving, but we can still use the same method to find it. Let's begin. Again, we have to see if the KP is positive or negative first. So let's set the KP to something like 15 or negative 15. Here, I'm going to try 15. As you can see, the robot is making corrections in the wrong direction and becoming more and more tilted instead of driving straight. Since positive 15 didn't work, we know that KP is negative. Now we'll do the same thing we did with the line follower. We'll slowly increase the K value until the gyro driving becomes unstable. Then we'll divide the K value by 2 to find the KP. Let's start with negative 23 and slowly increase until we see the instability. Alrighty, as you can see, when the K value was negative 26, the gyro assisted driving program became unstable. So now we'll divide negative 26 by 2 and we'll get negative 13, which is our KP value. When we plug in negative 13, we can see that the gyro assisted driving program works very well.